Dr. Nasser Al Gahtani um, has uh, received his bachelor's degree from the College of Pharmacy at King Said University and has also earned his clinical pharmacy degree, master's of clinical pharmacy degree from UCL, and also a PhD in pharmaceutical policy and outcome research from the University of Auburn in Alabama. Um, Dr. Nasser is the uh, currently is an executive director for drug affairs and um, pharmaceuticals at the first central health care uh, health cluster uh, in the Ministry of Health. So Dr. Nasser uh, will talk inshallah today about the principles and the different approaches to pharmaceutical pricing. So please join me welcoming Dr. Nasser. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ghamdi and others and the um, organizing committee for inviting me today to talk about the vital topic which is the uh, basic principles of uh, pharmaceutical pricing and what kind of policies and approaches that has been taken by either regulators or um, uh, other beneficiaries in order to uh, set up prices for the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, so th there is actually a, a, a rationale for initiating strategies for pharmaceutical pricing and this rationale actually has come from the controversial uh, you know, aspects of uh, pharmaceutical pricing in, in different countries. So I believe that uh, the, the drug price is really very important to, 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 to be set fairly well by different regulatory body in order to uh, make a competitive market for all the pharmaceuticals and to um, uh, to reduce the uh, uh, drug bill on, on the country. Um, there, there, is, uh, there are different approaches uh, uh, for, the, uh, pharmaceutical uh, for the pharmaceutical pricing are practiced in different countries. Uh, basically countries are uh, seeking to achieve better value for uh, money and drug spending and in order to achieve this, uh, the different regulators actually taking care of developing the policies to manage prices of the um, medicines in different countries in order to improve the access of, of pharmaceutical products and to make sure that uh, the uh, medications are available to different people. Um, there is always a need to have a robust scheme for uh, pharmaceutical pricing, you know, and that can be attained by better um, uh, and will actually in encourage more uh, robust system to uh, uh, arrange uh, better uh, uh, actually control and the procurement distribution or medicine reimbursement decisions. When it comes to pricing strategies, we have a lot of pricing strategies and not all of them actually are, you know, uh, uh, can fit with the uh, pharmaceutical, uh, you know, uh, per se. So uh, some of them are uh, really very, very helpful. Some of them uh, are not uh, actually, uh, it doesn't fit with the pharmaceutical uh, domain. So uh, I will actually come up with the, the main pricing strategy that uh, will help a lot actually in our real world to uh, price uh, our pharmaceutical in, the, in, in uh, rationally. And the, the pricing strategy all, uh, always dependent on the level of competition among all pharmaceutical products category. And it's important to understand the strategy of pricing, whether we are pricing a patent products, pricing generic products, or branded of patent products. Here are some strategy to, uh, uh, that are most likely to be used by different regulator to price uh, products that uh, actually submitted for registration in each country. Some of them like using cost plus pricing and this is a very primitive way to price pharmaceuticals. Uh, uh, external reference, reference pricing, free pricing, profit control, value-based pricing, cost-effectiveness pricing, and so on and so forth. I will start with the most simple concept, which is the uh, cost plus pricing. It's actually a cost-based method 
the calculation of uh, this method is basically very, very easy. It's a calculation of the average cost plus a markup. So when it comes to a formula that, we, that will help us um, uh, calculating the, the pharmaceuticals price is the cost plus uh, equals to direct material and labor costs plus the direct and indirect overhead costs of the product plus markup. So what we mean by direct costs is the costs of, of all materials or raw materials used in the, uh, uh, in the manufacturing process uh, in the proportion to increase the production, um, other uh, direct costs uh, that has not been, been mentioned in, in, in here, uh, overhead costs, all other fixed and sunk costs in, involved in the production process, and the markup, uh, profit margin, charges, profit margin for the supply chain, and so on and so forth. External reference pricing, this is one of the robust way of pricing pharmaceuticals. Uh, it's actually uh, the practice of using the prices of a medicine in one or several countries in order to drive a benchmark of reference price. The purpose of uh, this technique is to set, uh, is to set up or uh, negotiating the price of the product in, a, in any given country. The important element of uh, uh, reference pricing is actually to have a basket of reference countries that you can compare your price to, a basket of products uh, who are actually have the same, uh, let's say, indication or uh, uh, carry the same therapeutic value. Price used for referencing uh, that can be widely accepted and published uh, in, in different entities or, different by, uh, or uh, published by different regulators. Uh, and uh, you need to have a calculation algorithm. This is how we uh, widely use the reference pricing in different countries. So we, here in Saudi Arabia, we are um, uh, actually uh, recognizing 30 countries uh, as a reference price uh, to, to price our products here in Saudi Arabia. The second important and emerging concept in the pricing, which is a value-based pricing. And it's primarily based upon perceived or estimated value by the customer. The price that ensures that the expected health benefits or outcomes of a new technology exceeds the health predicted to be displayed elsewhere in the National Health Service due to their additional costs. So this is actually, the, the, this is what has been defined by the NHS uh, in the UK and uh, actually is the uh, uh, widely accepted definition by the European countries. And uh, this is the one that I liked actually to be reflected in this presentation. It's actually, uh, this concept is, is shifting the, uh, uh, the, the uh, pharmaceutical market from volume-based to value-based. Uh, many tools that will help us, uh, us actually achieve better value in the treatment. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, different uh, actually uh, service provider can, get, can gain the benefit of this technique by introducing value-based agreements like discounting, uh, risk sharing, uh, indication-based managed entry agreement, risk sharing agreement, uh, and other uh, uh, other concepts that will help attain the value-based pricing. Another technique that's uh, most widely used to price uh, generic medications is the price capping. It's actually the percentage of the price of the product uh, of the originator before the loss of exclusivity and you the, the, the pharmaceutical usually of patent originator or generic is priced as a percentage of the price of the originator. So for example, if we have a generic medication that wants to be registered in a given country, uh, in order to enter the market, it will be priced, let's say, at 60% or 30% or 
whatever percentage has been uh, identified by the regula regulator of the branded product or uh, originated price. Uh, another uh, concept that has been used widely, which is uh, cost effectiveness pricing. So basically the product is priced according to the relationship between its clinical effectiveness, uh, meaning how effective is in comparison to the current standard of care and its cost effectiveness in terms of value for money. Free pricing, many countries like the Far East countries, they are using the free pricing and uh, actually they are uh, uh, keeping the, uh, the, uh, the pharm pharma industry actually propose their uh, price and they market their products based on the price that has been uh, uh, proposed by the, by the company. The manufacturer can price their pharmaceutical at any price they want. And this is actually generates more liberal market for pharmaceuticals. The other way of uh, pricing, which is profit controls. So basically the, uh, this can be defined as the prices of pharmaceuticals are indirectly controlled through profit controls to the manufacturer defined as uh, return on the capital employed or return on the sales. These are uh, least commonly used uh, methods of uh, pharmaceutical pricing, uh, like the uh, internal reference pricing. It's actually consists of clustering of drugs uh, according to the sum equivalent criteria and defining a reference price for each cluster. Uh, molecular reference pricing is medicines with the same active substances are grouped to uh, define the, uh, the reference price. Therapeutic reference pricing, this is another way of pricing medication. So of all the drug that are used to treat a particular condition or a medicine that have a comparable therapeutic effects are grouped to define the reference price. And there is another uh, way of pricing, which is managed uh, competition in combination with molecular reference pricing. And uh, this means that we combine molecular reference pricing and price cut for uh, additional uh, entrants with the same active substance. So this is actually uh, some sort of uh, uh, pharmaceutical uh, pricing uh, techniques that's actually being used by uh, um, by different regulator actually to identify the pricing of pharmaceutical in, in, in a given country. So this is actually what I have for today and uh, I will leave actually the explanation for the next speakers. Uh, we have uh, some esteemed speakers, uh, Dr. Yazid and Dr. Yassin, and they will elaborate more in, on the uh, value-based and the uh, reference pricing.